This is a special presentation of the John LeBang Show. The Invaders from Alien X. Resistance. It's you time. Prepare to tractor beam proceeding on schedule. Contact Viceroy Krill. Acknowledged. Orbit achieved. Viceroy Krill on subspace. You wish to speak with me, my lord? Progress report. We have engaged the vessel. The ship is heavily damaged, but managed to find its way into an asteroid belt, making it impossible to pursue. Asteroids do not concern me, Viceroy. I want that ship. Yes, my lord. End transmission. Begin phase three. Acknowledged. Phase three commencing. I sense something. The presence I've not felt since. Deploying collectors. Inform me when phase three is fully implemented. Roger, roger. Captain on the bridge. Report. There's no doubt, Captain. It was a directed signal carried on some form of radio wave, sir. This is damn peculiar. Do you have a fix on the target of the radio wave? It appears to be directed at a neighboring solar system, sir. Sector 4448919. Hmm. Engineer Montgomery on the line, sir. Go ahead, Monty. Main power has been restored to 80% of the ship, Captain. Shields are back online. But I don't know how long they will last, and the phaser banks are fully recharged. Can you give me warp speed? Barely, sir. I don't suggest exceeding warp two. So noted, Captain Out. Mr. Chewie, I have a special assignment for you. Take a shuttle and find out where that message is going to. Mr. Chang, lay in a course back to Earth. Captain? You heard me, Mr. Chang. Course plotted, sir. As soon as Mr. Chewie is away, take us out, Mr. Chang. Aye, sir. Mr. Dwarf, charge up the phaser banks and arm the torpedoes. Yes, Captain. Bridge to sickbay. Enjoy here. Hetty, I'm going to take us out. Things might get a little bumpy. You might want to... Save me the speeches, Jim. I'll get everything strapped down. How's he doing? I don't know, Jim. One minute he's up, the next minute he's down. There's really nothing more I can do at this point. Keep me updated. Will do. Captain out. Mr. Chewie online, sir. Go ahead, Mr. Chewie. <laughs> Acknowledged. And Mr. Chewy, make it fast. Shuttle is leaving the ship, Captain. Shuttle is clear. Close shuttle bay doors. Take us out, Mr. Chang. Aye, Captain! This thing does right to ease now, does it? It'll smooth out once we leave the atmosphere. Yeah, friction's a bitch, I know. I had a girl one time who didn't even trim the bushes, if you know what I mean. What? I mean, she didn't even clear a path. Bonafide African jungle down there. I don't understand. Listen, she was so dense that every time I went exploring, either I got a case of the creepy crawlies or I had a rash from rubbing up against all that bush. Oh, that sounds terrible. Yeah, you think so, huh? For a while there, I thought I had an allergy. There it is. Now there's something you don't see every day. Oh, what is that? That's where we're headed, Abu. I, I want to go back. It's too late now. But I did not volunteer for this. Sure you did. I don't believe I did, Mr. Shady. Did you get in this contraption willingly? Well, I suppose. No one forced you on, right? No. No one twisted your arm or anything? No. Did anybody put a gun to your head? 
Well, you did once. I meant today. That time you crashed into my car doesn't count. Oh, well, no then. That means you volunteered. Well, if I would have known what this would have been, I would not have come. Well, that's your fault too. Why is it my fault? I can't help it, you're stupid. If you would have paid attention, instead of being distracted by a minor thing like your underwear riding up your ass, you would have known what the hell was going on. But... One more butt out of you, and I'm going to put my foot up yours. What did I do? Will you two keep it down? You want me to throw him out the airlock? That'll shut him up. That's not very funny. You can't do that, Shady. Who's going to know? He can make all the noise he wants, and ain't nobody going to hear him. I don't think that's as funny. I'll know, Shady. I'll know. You know, just think of the peace and quiet for the last few hours of our lives. You've got that much confidence, huh? This isn't funny, guys. Now, don't tell me that doesn't sound good. Peace and quiet does sound good, Shady. So could everyone keep it down? You should not joke like this. And besides, if you open the airlock, we'll have to disengage the cloaking device. And then they'll see us. Damn, you're right. You know, you're lucky we need the cloaking device. You know, I was brought here under false pretenses. Speaking of cloaking device, are you sure they can't see us? Pretty sure. Pretty sure. What, like, you know, 90% sure? No. Maybe 50-50? Great. (laughs) So what's next? Well, I'm hoping to find a place to land. I was just minding my own business, and boom, the power goes out. And then what? Well, try to find out how to destroy that thing. I have had giant machines chase me. Honestly, John, you didn't really think this through now, did you? And now I am flying on a spaceship. I'm still working on the details. This is a great plan. Let's fly up into outer space to take on a bunch of aliens. And I'm still all itchy. And the best thing we got is a homemade flying saucer. Looks like today's a good day to die. You're not giving up that easily, are you, Shady? What can I say? If the three of us are the best hope for mankind, we're in some big trouble. Well, look at that. They're opening the doors for what us. What a day I am Lady having. Luck must be on our side. And what the hell are those things coming out of there? I don't know, Shady, but we're going to have to fly in between them. Better buckle up. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yes, yes, me too. We're going in. This is definitely not the smartest idea you've ever come up with. You're probably right. Oh, I can't watch. I should have brought more beer. We're here. Well, it's about damn time. I always heard Detroit was a disaster area, but I never knew it was this bad. Yeah, most of this was done way before all this happened. It's a damn shame. Okay, keep it down, Uncle Bobby. Boy, I think I have another movement coming on. Well, we're almost in, so just hang on, clench up, and we'll be all right. I've been clenching all night. Who is it, man? It's me. I don't know anyone by that name, man. Take a hike. You sure you got the right place? I'm sure, I'm sure. Who goes there, man? It's me, Wilbur. Hey, man. Who, man? Wilbur. Wilbur Hillbilly? Oh, man. Wilbur's not here, man. Better come back later. I think they kicked you out of your sissy terrorist club. Uncle Bobby, just keep it down. Hey, man, I told you he's not here, man. Damn it, Sony, open the door. I'm in no mood to be playing games. Oh, it's you, man. Well, it's about time, man. We were beginning to worry and all, man. We had a hell of a time getting here. What's with this nonsense at the door? Well, man, you can't be too careful, man. Uh, Uncle Bobby, this here's one of the most laid-back guys you'll ever meet. Stone Logic, but we call him Sony for short. Uh, Pleased to meet you. Sony? This here's my Uncle Bobby. 
Hey, man. So did everyone make it? Yeah, man, but John took off, man. Where the hell did he go to? To the mini mart? No, man, he took off like in outer space, man. And you let him go alone? No, man, he took a couple of dudes with him. A couple of dudes? Don't worry, man. I'll fill you in on everything, man. Well, let's head over to the kitchen. We're hungry like a shark on National Geographic. I love that magazine. That's where I saw my first set of banana knockers. What are banana knockers, man? It's a saggy acre. Oh, gross, man. Ah, well, it was better than nothing for a little old country boy like myself. Okay, go through here, Uncle Bobby. Ah, don't rush me now, boy. Hey, man, I'll be in the command center if you need me, man. All right, I'll get them settled in and then I'll be along. All right, man. Captain's Log, Supplemental. The asteroid belt has provided us sufficient shielding while we implement repairs on the ship after the encounter with the planet killer. We intercepted a transmission coming from Earth, Old Morris Cold, a message that was directed to a nearby system. I have sent Mr. Chewie to investigate. I am now taking the ship out of the asteroid belt and setting course for Earth. Captain, I'm picking up an enemy squadron coming in. Inside the asteroid belt? Affirmative. It's always something. Raise shields. Mr. Chang, how long before we exit the asteroid belt? 30 seconds, Captain. Contact with the planet killer. Bearing Mark 4.2. Mr. Chang, evasive. Captain, they're preparing to fire the primary weapon. Mr. Chang, bring us closer to one of the big asteroids. Aye, Captain. Captain, they're firing. Hang on. Good work, Captain. The asteroid is providing us with ample screening against their targeting sensors. How much time until we reach the perimeter? 10 seconds, Captain. Increase speed. Set course for Earth as soon as you get a clearing, Mr. Chang. Aye, Captain. Mr. Metadata, inform me as soon as we are in communications range. Aye, sir. Captain, they've locked on. Clearing perimeter, sir. They're firing, Captain. Now, Mr. Chang. You are listening to a special broadcast of the John Lubang Show. The invaders from Alien X. Resistance is your time. All right, Uncle Bobby, eat up. Uh, I swear, boy, uh, you plumb warm me out today. Uh, it's way past my bedtime. Well, after you eat, why don't you lay down on the couch over there? It'll probably do you some good. Uh, that sounds like a plan. Uh, you got any entertainment in this joint? Uh, you know I can't sleep unless I have something on the tube. Well, I'm sure none of the cable networks are working. But we have a fine selection of John LeBang's work on hand. Uh, what kind of crap does that long-haired sister freak do? Oh, well, he does a lot of cool things. He's got this cool science fiction miniseries called Majesty 12. You want to watch that? Uh, what's it about? Aliens and government conspiracy. Uh, no way! I had too much aliens being involved in this whole thing. Well, okay, uh... Well, he's got this cool game show called It's Your Lies. You want to watch that? Uh, you mean like where there's people asking questions and they have to answer? Yeah, that's right. Uh, no, I think I'll pass on that. I'm in no mood to be thinking. Okay, well, how about a creep at the wheel? It's about this crazy driver who deals with bad traffic. It's really funny. Uh, boy, you just drove 700 miles. I've had enough of that, too. Well, uh, how about some music videos? Uh, you mean like MTV? Well, kinda. Uh, put that It'll remind me of the 80s. All right, Uncle Bobby, here you go. If you need anything, I'll be back later. Uh, you're a good old boy. Just get some rest, Uncle Bobby. Okay, well, where does this go? Just put it over there. We have to replace it. It's pretty heavy. What's it for? It's a power matter distributor. Without it, the anti-gravity booster wouldn't work. And that's what makes this thing go? Yes. 
The anti-gravity booster is the main propulsion system on this vehicle. Oh, that's cool. Well, how does it work? Now, that's a good question. The anti-gravity booster uses gravity, or lack thereof, to move about. A process called inertiation. Think of it like two magnets. If the anti-gravity booster is not engaged, the planet's gravity keeps it on the ground, like everything else. But once the booster is engaged, it's like flipping one of the magnets over, and it begins to push away. The closer we are to a gravitational body, the better it performs. Well, how fast can it go? Uh, another good question. Well, here on Earth, we're limited by friction because of the atmosphere. Conceivably, we could reach speeds greater than 24,000 miles per hour. But the best outer hull technology I've been able to come up with has a tolerance of 544 miles per hour. Well, that's still pretty good. In space, we've reached 50 times that speed. But there are other hazards to worry about up there. Well, what do you mean? Things like meteors and satellites. Oh, I see. Not to mention the programs, both public and secret. You mean like all the countries that are in space? Correct. There's so much going on up there, you'd have to see it to believe it. Hey, just checking in. Where are we at with these things? Number two is ready to go. Minus the cloaking device. Good, get her prepped up. I'm heading over to the command center and then I'll be back. No problem. Hi, I'm Leroy. Good to meet you. All right, I'll be back soon. Something to report. Picking up signal coming from the planet. Source and origin. Unknown. We'll find it. Acknowledged. Message coming in from Viceroy Krill. Put it on. What do you have to report, Viceroy? We proceeded into the asteroid belt as commanded and engaged the vessel. They managed to escape the asteroid belt before we could destroy them. They are now headed towards you, your majesty. We are now exiting the asteroid belt and will resume pursuit shortly. Once again, you have failed me. Be thankful I am more forgiving than the Ethereum. Maintain pursuit and destroy them. Yes, my lord. Any word from John? Nothing, man. I've got Nerdot prepping number two for me. You want to come along? I could use you. I was thinking the same thing, man. And we better hurry, man. Look at the infrared. Damn, that's a lot of reinforcements. Yeah, man, and look, they're bigger. Way bigger. At least 20 times bigger, man. Well, that puts a damper on things. So has the military done anything? Well, from what I can tell, man, they're doing okay. It took a while for them to respond, though, man. Well, they're probably working without satellites and poor communications. Something's coming in, man. <laughs> Can you clear that up? I'm trying, man. I repeat, this is Captain James Picard of the Starship Space Quest. Try to boost the navigator. We are responding to your distress call. You got it, man. We've come to assist you. Please respond. We hear you, Captain. You are listening to a special broadcast of the John LeBang Show. The Invaders from Alien X. Resistance is your time.
See? We're in. I have to hand it to you, John. I never thought we'd get this far. Abu, you stay here on the ship with 3PO. Check! Shady, you and R2 come with me. We'll discreetly check out the hangar and see what we can find and then move on from there. This plan keeps getting better and better. Uh, and I'm on my last beer. Well, here's the beautiful naked women. I'm sure gonna miss them when I'm dead. Not me. I get 72 virgins where I'm going. We'll see if we can tap into their main computer and maybe find some way to destroy this thing. Boy, you're crazier than I thought you were. Well, if we're quick and quiet, nothing should get too crazy. Yeah, you may be right. How much crazier can things get? We snuck aboard an alien space station during an invasion of the Earth to try to save mankind, and I'm out of beer. It doesn't get much more crazier than that. Abu, don't touch anything, got it? Don't worry, John. I'm very good at doing nothing. You can say that again. All right, let's go. Secure in sick bay, Jim. Good heading. Now what do you want? I need someone to fill in for Mr. Tucock. I've chosen you. Jim, are you crazy? I'm a doctor, not a computer programmer. I need a senior science officer there, and you're next in line. Now take your place, Commander. Well, I sure as hell hope you know what you're doing, because the whole damn thing's a mystery to me. Subspace message coming in from Mr. Chewy. On speaker. Mr. Chewy, what do you have to report? <laughs> Excellent, Mr. Chewy. We'll rendezvous with you at Sector 001. Picard out. Are you ready, man? Give me a second. Uncle Bobby, me and the boys are going to take care of some business. There's a kid here named Leroy. He's going to stick around and keep you company. He'll be in the hangar. <laughs> Where is that? Well, you can't miss it. Just go through the green door that says hangar on it. <laughs> You're going up there, aren't you? Can't get nothing past you, can I, Uncle Bobby? That's right. I've got a friend up there, and he needs our help. I'll meet you on board, man. All right. Uh, how you get in there? Well, come on. I'll show you. Uh, sleeping on the couch, running around the country, and all without my hemorrhoid cream. Uh, you know, boy, I'm getting too old for this shit. I know, Uncle Bobby. Uh, the food was pretty good. Uh, reminds me of a girl I once knew. Girl you once knew? How's that? Uh, you know how much I love tuna. Well, don't worry, Uncle Bobby. I have a lifetime supply of tuna here for you. Okay, right through here, Uncle Bobby. Uh, you really should think about putting in some of those moving sidewalks. Uh, I like, you don't like the airport? Uh, it makes it easier on an old fella. Well, here we are. Uh, what the hell? What's wrong, Uncle Bobby? Uh, I haven't seen one of these since my days in the Air Force. When I was in Project Blue Book. Well, that's what we called it publicly. But that's top secret. You mean you've seen these kind of aircrafts before? I've seen them. Hell, I was a test pilot in the 1950s, remember? I thought you were testing planes. I never said planes. I said aircrafts. I was testing in something very similar to this. Those were the days. Okay, Uncle Bobby. This here's Leroy. Hi. Pleased to meet you. He's going to be your company while I'm gone. You know, I can fly one of these. I could help. Well, only one is ready right now. And like you said, Uncle Bobby, you're getting too old for this kind of stuff. I don't like it when you say it like that. And besides, you've already fought your wars. Now it's my turn. Boy, you make me proud. Bring a tear to an old man die. Well, that's all I ever wanted to do. Come on, let's go. Uncle Bobby, there's Nerd Eye. He's the guy behind all this technology. Where'd you get it? Ah, uh, no time to talk now. All right, Uncle Bobby, don't wait up for me. Take good care from me, Roy. That's all I got. Don't worry, he's in good hands. Resistance.
Why do I keep thinking this idea is worse than I originally thought? What do you mean? We're doing great. R2, tap into the station's computers. I keep feeling like something bad is about to happen. It's just your imagination. R2, focus on the power source. Like doom is just around the corner. You're just being paranoid. Okay, download, R2. How much longer? Any second. Okay, we're done. Well, let's get going then. All right, this way. Boy, I wish I had a beer. I wonder what's taking them so long. This is madness. I am so damn itchy. We're doomed. I just... I just can't reach. What are you talking about? Well, I have an itch that I just can't reach. You know, I was wondering... Would you do me a favor and scratch my itch? This time you have gone too far. But if you scratch it, I won't be itchy. I see your point, sir. Okay, let me bend over. I'm going to regret this. A little lower, please. But gracious me. Yes, that's good. Did you hear that? Yes, that you're hitting the right spot there. Yes. How rude. What is that? What? I can't see. What? Cloaking device disengaged. Well, that's not good. Intruder alert. I knew it. I knew it. Didn't I tell you I had a bad feeling about this? Well, no time to worry about it now. We've got to get back to the ship. I hear you. Let's go. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Contact hangar deck. Intruder alert. Engaging. Through here. You know where you're going? Not a clue. Yeah, that's what I figured. Damn. Okay, now which way? Shady, you go left and find your way back to the ship. I'll go right and try to give you a Don't you think you should stick together? Don't worry about me. I've got our two. Let's get back to the ship. You know, remind me if we get out of this to bring more beer to us. You got it. Now be careful. Come on, R2. Found the source of the transmission. Search pattern at 63% completion. No confirmation. Vessel approaching from the planet. Put it on the viewing screen. Acknowledged. Configuration matches vehicle in hangar bay. They're coming to help their friends. Lock onto it with the tractor beam when it's in range. Acknowledged. Intruders located in sector 13. Tractor beam engaged. Caught the tractor beam is pulling us in. It's draining our power, man. I need more power. I'm attempting to route additional power to the antimatter booster. It's just too strong, man. That's all I can give you. This is coming in, man. Let's hear it. Sorry we're late, gentlemen. It's been a long drive from the asteroid belt. No apologies needed. Let's get to work. Ray Shields. Mr. Dwarf. Target that tractor beam and fire. <laughs> tractor beam destroyed, Captain. Mr. Chang, attack pattern alpha. I kept it. Mr. Dwarf, load all torpedo bays and lock all phases. Ready, sir. Fire on my mark. Fire. <laughs>
What is the situation? Tractor beam has been destroyed. Area 940 sustaining heavy damage. Long range communication unoperative. System wide power reduced by 1%. The vessel is sending us a message. This should be amusing on viewer. This is Captain James Bricard of the Starship Space Quest. We tried it once your way. Are you game for a rematch? What arrogance. Power up all laser banks. Initiated. Intruders have invaded capture. I'll deal with the intruders myself. Laser banks fully charged. I want that ship destroyed by the time I return. Acknowledged. Sneaking down a corridor, not knowing where the hell I'm going, this is just asking for trouble. He tricked me into going this way, he did. Shit! Better duck in here. Hmm. Huh, look at this, how lucky. This must be a weapons locker. Well, that's a lucky break. This looks cool. Well, uh, <clears throat> well, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll bring that along. Better keep it down or else somebody's gonna hear me. What's this thing? It looks like a vibrator. Uh, that's not a vibrator. I think I'll keep this too. Figure they owe me. They ruined my entire Sunday evening with all this bullshit. Okay. Well, it looks like it's all clear. Better get out of here. This is a special presentation of the John LeBron Show. The Invaders from PBS. Resistance is futile. Finally, I got it fixed. I think this thing is ready to go now. Urgh, you mean we can take it out of here? Well, it's ready to fly. Urgh, well, I just can't sit around here doing nothing. Well, I don't know what else you can do. Urgh, well, I can get up into that machine right there Urgh, and do what I know best. I told your nephew I would look after you. I'm not going to let you go up in there. Urgh, now listen here, sonny. I was the best damn fighter pilot in Korea. And I was a test pilot on a dozen secret projects. I'm going up there. But that was a long time ago. It's like having sex. Once you've done it a few times, you'll never forget. The only thing that changes is the size of the type of the model. Well, I can't let you go. Get out of my way before I hurt you. I said no. Okay, that does it. Well, maybe next time you'll respect your elders. These kids today, they just don't listen. You better get back before this thing takes off and gonna knock you down. Now, oh wait. Hot 
Damn, there's the ship. I can't believe I made it. Now, why does it feel like somebody's watching me? Damn. I've been waiting for you, Shady. We meet again at last. The circle is now complete. When I last saw you, I was but to learn. Now I am the old master. Alright, there's no doubt I'm dreaming now. Darth Fairy is haunting me again. Darth Knight. Darth Knight. Yeah, whatever. You should not have come back. Listen, I didn't come here on my own admission, man. If you didn't come around here acting all uppity and all, I'd be down on Earth drinking some beer. Now listen, I'm not in the mood for this. Now put that back in your pants, boy. Listen, you know what? I got one too. You want to show off? Mine's bigger than yours. That little peewee ride you got there ain't shit. Watch this. You are beaten. It is useless to resist. Don't let yourself be destroyed. You know, this has been fun and all. Join me but, or uh, die. I only get two choices, huh? That's not very democratic of you. Just saying. How about you stop swinging your little saber at me, and I'll get the hell out of here. It is over. Well, uh, okay. So, goodbye. No. You can't get away. From hell's heart, I stab at me. For hate's sake, I spit my last breath at me. You all right, Shady? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> well, let's go. No time for sitting down on the job. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm lost. Where have you been? Hey, John. Where have you been? Better buckle up, Abu. I'm taking off. Just oh, no, I hate <laughs> space travel. Let's go, John. I'm going as fast as I can, Shady. Anti-gravity banner booster working. Hit game. Oh. Yeah, John. They're chasing us. I can see that. Yeah, John. Uh, they're they're chasing us. Uh, uh, John. Uh, they're they're shutting down the door. Stop side seat driving. Let's go faster. Go 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 Elvis has left the building. Thank you very much. It was close. Jesus, out of the frying pan and into the fire. Oh, shit. This is Banger 1 to ground control. Copy. This is Banger 1 to ground control. Does anybody copy? Well, howdy, fellas. Fancy meeting you here. Wilbur, is that you? In the flesh and no worse for wear. What the hell are you doing up here? We're picking a fight. You know, your clique of people really need to work on their planning skills. Well, it looks like you succeeded. Well, you know. So what's your plan? Well, I thought you had one. See, I told you. I'm sending you all the data on the space station. See if Nerd I can find any weakness. You might be better off sending it to our new friends. Could you repeat? I didn't copy that. You didn't think I'd come along to a party now, did you? Y'all the bang, meet Captain James Brickhart. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. He's from the future. Feelings mutual, Captain. I'm sending you data from the station computer logs. Maybe you'll be able to find out a weakness. We'll get right on it. Brickhart out. Hattie, analyze that data and give me options. I'm on it, Jim. Shield's down to 65%, Captain. We're just not doing enough damage. Contact, Captain. Mark 3.9. It's the planet killer. Confirm. Powering up his primary weapon. Well, let's take it out before it takes us out. New heading. 612.11 mock. Jim, that takes us right down its throat. That's right, Hattie. I plan on giving it something to choke on. Monty, I need all the power you can give me to the forward shields. We're barely hanging on, Captain! I don't care where you get it, just give me the power. Hey, Captain! Time till they fire. Ten seconds, Jim. Mr. Dwarf, Nine. lock all weapons and concentrate Eight. all fire Seven. on the main weapon Six. of the planet killer. Five. Five. Weapons locked. Four. You've got all I can give you, Captain! Two. Now, Mr. Dwarf. One. <laughs>
Damage. Damage to 4% of station. No significant systems affected. Viceroy Kilroy's ship has been destroyed. How? The enemy vessel. I thought I told you to destroy that ship. Unable to comply. Enemy vessel shields are withstanding our laser cannons. We'll have to destroy him ship to ship. Get the crews to their fighters. Acknowledged. Stay low. Go for me, I'm heading in. Wow, pull up, pull up! Oh! Oh no! Are you alright? We're a little cooked, but we're okay. Watch yourself, we've got a little fire coming from the right side of that tower. Damn, that's crazy! We're on it, cover me. I'm right with you. Oh, I'm gonna drop my short. Report. Shields down to 40%, sir. Hattie. You got anything? I'm working on it, Jim. Engineer Montgomery on the line, Captain. Go ahead, Monty. She's pecking quite the wallop! Hang in there, Engineer. Eddie, I need options. Captain, I picked up a new group of signals. Friendly? I don't think so. Message coming in, man. Let's hear it. I hate to bring you more bad news, gentlemen, but we've got enemy fighters heading your way. My scoop's negative. I don't see anything. Pick up your visual scanning. Here they come. Watch it. You've got one on your tail. I can't shake him. He's on me tight. We'll be right there. Watch your back. I'm hit, but not bad. R2, see what you can do with it. Hang on back there. Ooh. I'm on it, John. Hold on. Blessed Wilbur, where are you? Right here. Thanks, Wilbur. This is coming in, man. Gentlemen, we have an option that will destroy the station. I'm sending you the coordinates for the thermal exhaust port. Destroying it will cause a chain reaction, systematically destroying the station. We need to concentrate all firepower at that location. Did you get that, John? Copy that. Last one there buys the beer. Did you call for the cavalry? <laughs> Mr. Chewy is hailing us, Captain. On speaker. Good timing, Mr. Chewy. Let's get to work. Mr. Dwarf, fire at will. Watch it, you got a fighter coming in. I'm gonna cut across the access to try to draw their fire. Copy that. And here we go. We're just not doing enough damage. On the count of three, bank hard left. One, two, three, bank left! Got him! Good shot. Thanks. Mr. Chewie, you have one on your tail. Mr. Chang, put us in a position to assist Mr. Chewy. It's too late, Jim. He's dead. Confirm Mr. Chewy's ship is destroyed. This is a special presentation of the John LeVang Show. Invaders from Alien X. Resistance is due time. Give me a report. Analyzing their attack. There is a danger. Probability of success, 82%. The Ethereum won't be pleased. Prepare my ship for departure. Acknowledged. Must I do everything? I'm starting my attack run. Vinny, you got one on your ass. Well, get it off my ass. Copy that. I can't shake it. Looks like I took the wrong loop to quit having road rage. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! Eat that, 
space line. That was close, thanks. Hey, no problem. They said I could be anything I wanted, so I decided to be awesome. Hashtag awesome. Bobby, are you armed? Uh, armed and packing. Uh, just give me some time to get a clear shot. Okay, boys, let's plow the road. You're all clear, old man. Now let's blow this thing and let's go home. The Walking Dead's about to come on. Uh, I'm armed. Uh, I've got good tone. Uh, it's a way. Or not. Uh, It won't fire! I'm hit! Get out of there, Benny. You can't do any more good with that chip being all busted up. Do me a favor. Tell my nephew I love him very much. Uncle Bobby, what are you doing? All right, you alien assholes. In the words of my generation, I'm yours. Good luck, Bobby. Uncle Bobby. He did it! The son of a bitch did it! Oh, I'm not feeling so well. I'm just not feeling my belly in so well. Uh, yeah, you got a mess back here, John. Good job, everyone. Captain, thank you for all your help. I hope there's some way we can repay you. You wouldn't know where we could get some tuna, would you? Well, I do. There's plenty for you. In memory of my Uncle Bobby. Log supplementary. We are now heading home. We leave behind a shipmate, a companion, and a friend. And although the loss will weigh heavy on my heart, we were able to save the past so we could get back to the future. Our mission was a success. We are bringing back a lifetime supply of tuna. Permission to take my station, Captain. Welcome back, Mr. Tucock. Mr. Chang, take us home. Hi, Captain. All in the day's work. <laughs>